Hello everybody, this is Jay Dirt checking in. Welcome back to this live stream. Uh, we just launched our second Indiegogo campaign for our film figures, uh, which is at the link in my bio. So if you want to go check out um, our new Indiegogo campaign, it's freaking awesome. Uh, we've got a lot of great perks, uh, as well as just a great write-up uh, with all of the people, not all of the people, but uh, a few of our key members um, that uh, have just been killing it for us uh, in this process. So very excited to uh, continue along uh, the journey and uh, yeah, just continue figures. Um, so it's a little impromptu this evening, coming at you live, just getting my book out, making sure everybody uh, is ready to go. Uh, stand, of, stand of by uh, for Mr. Uh, Paul Persick, actually, uh, the DOP. Uh, Jamie actually went and scouted uh, a spot today for a, an additional very minor shoot uh, that we're going to be doing uh, for the film. And we're very excited uh, to continue along in this process. <clears throat> James, you're here now. You want to join me? I've invited James, yes. um, our weapons wrangler, and excellent dude. How's it going? Hello, Paolo, Blackbush Pictures, Tom Clifford, K Marvelous. Thank you all for joining. Um, James, I don't know if you're able to join uh, right now, but uh, I sent an invite your way. If not, uh, no worries. I have you slated in at 735, but uh, just wanted to see if you're down to join too. Um, Paolo will get you in here soon as well. Um, but yeah, just standing by uh, for Mr. Uh, Mr. Persick or Mr. White. And uh, just going to give you another invite there, James, to see if this works. If not, no worries. I didn't have time to tune the ukulele, but I thought I could play some ukulele in the meantime. So yeah, so our Indiegogo is live. Uh, it's on uh, the Indiegogo site. Uh, Y'all can go check it out uh, and see what we're all about. James, you good? Oh yeah. Here comes James. Yeah. James, my man. Oh, this is too bright. A little bit of oh, this. That's check, check, one. check. Radio check. That's a good check. That's a good check. Yeah. James, how are you doing, my man? How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. Staying busy. Staying busy. Seeing all the promos for the video. It looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. Looks, yeah, I'm very excited to see how it all came together. Man, uh, I mean, very excited uh, by the part that you played in the process of getting the gun action uh, done safely and with uh, a, a, just an epic, uh, you know, sort of uh, spectacle. So, uh, yeah, just tell us a little bit about what your role was uh, on, on the film. Uh, pretty much, I was the uh, gun wrangler, head gun wrangler for the set. Um, I did teach uh, a lot of the principal characters how to properly hold their firearms on the set. Um, a little bit about my background is uh, I'm a stunt performer myself. And um, for many years, I've been very familiar with firearms. Um, I own a few myself. And I wanted to bring those skill sets to movies because, like, you see tons of movies where, like, even big action movies, like they always miss the finer details of the stuff. And um, I always want to try to do my best to ensure that the characters that are being portrayed are fulfilling what they are presented to be. Like when you have special forces guys and a lot of the guys who were there asked them, like, what is their gun experience? And one of them literally, literally told me that it was just call of duty. So I'm like, Oh, my, <laughs> my work's cut out for me, but uh, they learned really quick. Um, I give them, a little bit more dynamic stuff to do, but um, they were able to get it on task real quick, and we had a lot of fun doing it. It was very safe doing it. Uh, I always advocate for very safe gun handling on sets. Like that even means just where knowing knowing where your muzzle's being pointed. And I generally give a rule where like you have to believe that that barrel has a constant laser beam on it, and you don't want to cut off someone's foot or even your own foot or anything else like that. So uh, I've been doing gun wrangling for about four years now uh, on indie projects. And um, I really enjoy doing it because I really enjoy guns. I really enjoy bringing that element of safety and training towards people uh, who aren't familiar with guns. So that's generally what my role was on figures. And 
there wasn't any issues I had seen on set. Everyone was really cooperative and listening to the, all the safety directions that I provided. And uh, I'm very excited to work again with you guys and hopefully we get bigger and better things. Um, I managed to get a few Tavors, uh, which are the Israeli battle rifle currently. Uh, it was actually one of our shoots that we were shooting. And I'm like, I still have these hanging around. And I told like you guys, I'm like, you want me to bring some extra spicy stuff for your set? And they're like, yeah. So we were, those were actually real Tavors as well that we were shooting blanks out of them for our project. So I was like, I'm going to upgrade your guys' like, thing because I just have them sitting around. So yeah, I was really happy to provide as much resources to you guys as possible. And I always just want to see, like, I want to, again, always help a project upgrade and be the best it can be. So if I can ever offer any assistance, I'm more than happy to do so. Salute you. <laughs> I salute you. I, uh, well, I appreciate you uh, stopping by, uh, James, and, uh, you know, checking in with us. And, uh, yeah, feel free to, like, share the word on, on uh, our Indiegogo campaign. Your bio is in there. Uh, you were one of the key oh. members uh, that helped us get this mo this movie made. So I just want to, uh, you know, thank you for your work and uh, just uh, also continue, uh, you know, just stoking that fire of excitement for when this film is going to be finally out there and you're going to see, uh, everybody's going to see the, the work you did. So thank you, oh, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think everyone did a really good job. So I'm, again, very excited to promote it and show it around. And I'm, I'm really excited to see how everything came together. Well, until then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, Hulk. You as well, man. All the best. <laughs> keep, keep fighting the good fight. Will do. Cheers. Bye. Bye. That's James White, everybody. Hey, Cassie! <laughs> Cassie, if you want to join the live, feel free. All right, welcome in the DOP. The one, the only, the Croatian crustacean from another nation. They call him Mr. Persig. Ah, hello. <laughs> What's hello. up, Nate? I love your shirt. Hello. I got the shirt, I got the ukulele, and now I got Paul Persick. I'm good to go. Wow, there you go. Wow, you're always rising up to the occasion, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Today has been a busy one, just getting this uh, Indiegogo out and like mm -hmm. draft after draft after draft after draft, but uh, super happy that uh, it's out now and people can see what, uh, what we're doing and uh, what you did, uh, a little piece of what you did, really. Um, yeah, man, tell us a little bit about what this experience has been like for you. Well, I got to shoot action, which is uh, amazing. Oh, look at him at Kumar. It's a good, good man right there. Uh, <laughs> got to shoot some action. Uh, got to work with amazing people who know how to fight, uh, know how to make a very safe environment for everyone, you know, very professional. Uh, I had a great time on mm -hmm. figures, man. I, I can tell you all about it if you want. Is that, is that what I'm here for? Is that what? Uh, yes, you are here. <laughs> you are here as a plug. No, um, no, I would say, like, you know, like, overall, like, uh, the whole process, like, it, it kind of spanned out, like, a few months, and there was some stuff that we had to reshoot, and it did come with it sort of, like, you know, like, fighting the night, and, like, having to try and fit everything into one night, and also, there were other times where we had more time, and we could get more, um, sort of experimental with the shots and stuff, so I guess just to, I, I guess talk about your own, sort of, like, what you brought to the project, and then like, what you gained from the project. Well, I, um, first of all, I got to meet you. I got to meet some amazing people and uh, I'm so happy that like even beyond the shoot that we've been always just like in touch, always hanging out, you know, having some, some little movie nights, but uh, I, uh, it was a wonderful experience. It's like, it's not too often you get to find people who are so passionate and driven of, of what they do, especially for something so ambitious. It's like, you know, what do you go on to a film festival? Where do you go into like any sort of short film thinking that you're going to get an amazing like four minute long action sequence or uh, just some just fantastic driven plot? And uh, I just I really enjoyed every moment of the way. Uh, the all nighters were intense. I mean, they were to be expected. You even warned the crew. I'm like, guys, it's going to go on for a little while, you know, <laughs> but uh, if it takes 12 extra hours, you know, no sleep at all gotta get the shots you know and uh i love the shots and i'm very excited to have them shown yeah um well man i'm just uh, like the same stuff i said to james uh like echoing that as well just like super grateful uh for your time and 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 being a key member but also like you know from the on from the onset like you were in our uh, bios for our first mini go, go campaign as well uh, yeah so you, you, you've been with the project for a while now so just uh you know your commitment your hustle um and your ability to on on the floor 
uh, you know, we could pull <laughs> off like, what was it like 15 shots in an hour or like something <laughs> like that, something insane. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, you dealt with my craziness. Uh, so I appreciate that. You know, I kind of, <laughs> I'm a little bit, I'm a little nuts. Uh, so I, I appreciate your patience with me and just uh, going through the processes as like, you know, as a director getting, uh, you know, more experience of everything. It's, it's just, it was a really good experience uh, for me just to work with you on this. So I'm, I'm very grateful for, for that opportunity. Thank you. We're both uh, just the perfect amount of crazy for each other. I love it. Uh, thank you so much, Jade. Uh, it's a pleasure. Any more help you need from me, anything you want, let's do it. Future projects, let's do it. I'm grateful for you, man. Thank you. Yeah, man. And uh, looking forward to just uh, with this Indiegogo campaign, getting the word out to you on your work and uh, just mm. like with the BTS, people are going to see the amount of dancing you did on this. <laughs> did a lot of dancing. Uh, my back doesn't look normal in a lot of angles. <laughs> Uh, I swear it was for the shot. Uh, you do anything hurt? Let's just say I had a lot of sleep afterwards. <laughs> well, from one Croatian to another Croatian, I don't have any Croatian I can speak, but I'll just say thank you very much, my man. You fucking killed it. No problem. I, I say lakonoč, which means good night. Well, well you're not good. Lakonoč. <laughs> lakonoč. All right, man. Take it easy. That was Paul Persick. DP camera operator, very hands on in his approach. Uh, him and Jamie had a perfect sort of meld. Uh, it, was, it was a dance, it was a total dance. All right, who's next? We've had James, we've had Paul. Now it's time for Ballo. Mr. Ballo, how are you? Welcome to the live stream. <laughs> If you're having any difficulty getting in, Malo, it must be on a mobile mobile device, to my understanding of how Instagram works. Um, hope everybody's having a wonderful night. Um, if anybody uh, wants a chocolate, I've got some here. Mm. Stand by for Bell. Take it down. Take it down. Yes, I just had a chocolate stew. It was good. I recommend it. No, oh, Mizzler. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Well, if you're having any trouble getting onto Instagram, uh, use uh, your mobile device. Now. Hope everybody's doing okay with the weather. I know it's a little bit crazy out there tonight. Having technical difficulties? No worries. No worries. Well, in the meantime, I'll play the video with my favorite chocolate, probably after eight. I want to just have some mint chocolate. Thank you for asking. Let me turn off. Let me turn off. You always, you always got the good questions, my brother. So, just so everybody knows, uh, the Indiegogo link is at my bio. Uh, if you go onto Instagram um, and you go and you see this guy, the Dirge Films, the mask on. It's this guy right here. I know he doesn't look like this guy. He doesn't look like these people. He doesn't quite look like this guy either because I got a haircut, but nonetheless, this is me. Um, go to Instagram, click on this, and I'll take you to Indiegogo. And we have this campaign. Let's oh. follow. Thank you. 
hello. Hair is a little longer. All looking good. So far as I know, Balo, it'll have to be on your iPhone. Go, <laughs> no, Roham. Hello. Yo. How's it going? Good, Good to man. see you, buddy. Good to see you. Been a while. That's been a yeah, while. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Super exciting well, times, eh? No, oh, I mean it is. It's crazy. I mean we're. Uh, it's amazing. We are spreading the good word of figures, uh, getting the word out on this uh, short film. Um, yeah, and uh, very excited to, to actually have made a film uh, with this much action uh, and this much sort of like thrilling sort of plot and stuff. So very excited and very excited to say how grateful I am of all the great BTS photos you took. <laughs> uh, when, when, when you're on set, those were fucking incredible, and all the work you did as a uh, gaffer as well. I, I appreciate you. That means yeah, a lot. That means a lot. So I, I guess just the one question I'm asking everybody is, uh, yeah, tell, tell us a little bit about uh, your experience on film. Uh, well, you know, I had a I had a brief chance to be with you guys, and uh, it was it was on I think two days we were together, and incredible. You guys caught me off guard, to to say the <laughs> least. I show up just another day on set and I, you know, before I know it, there's people jumping around and doing these crazy high quality stunts, which was incredible to me. Um, and I've worked with Paul before, which incredible guy, you guys all know Paul. And uh, I'm so looking forward to doing more with you guys. Incredible, incredible. Yeah, man, I'm excited for it too. This uh, year 2022, I feel like there's some good things sort of uh, brewing. Um, yeah, 100%. That's that's awesome. Like that's that's basically the full extent of uh, you coming on here and, and being a, a wonderful uh, you know team member uh, for getting this film made, but also just a good dude for showing up and being. Oh, of awesome. course, I got you. Like, well, you guys yeah. definitely have my support going on to this year. Uh, if you need any regarding rentals and any services with Canada Film, please reach out to me. I'll I'll be there to help you out. Yeah, uh, if you ever need it, I'll be here. Yeah. Anybody else watching too? <laughs> Roham is an incredible. Uh, gaffer so if you need somebody go get him <laughs> yeah, <please. laughs> all right thanks buddy i appreciate you appreciate you too man thank you so yeah. much for checking thanks. in <laughs> yeah of course. of course of course good luck yeah yeah man yeah. that was roham project row well i don't know if Balo is still having technical difficulties but now i'm going to try and inviting you in again just to see Maybe it'll work this time. Paul, James, Roham. There's still a few more names on this list, so we'll see. We'll see who checks in. We'll see who makes it to class. But no, in all seriousness, I go check out our Indiegogo campaign here to again. Pretty good. Doing pleasure.
So this is a good way to show uh, the before and after of uh, what color and sound will do to a film. We may not be able to use this copyright music, but that's okay. We're going to be playing that 24 hours a day for 60 days over the next 60 days to get the word out. Uh, we've, had, we've had all the biggest broadcasters in the world reach out to us saying, whatever it is we're lacking, you got it. Netflix, Amazon, Crave, HBO, Showtime. Hey, Junior. I'm going to invite Mr. Junior Rojas into the club. Yo, shorty. It's your birthday. Here we go. Yo. Hey. What's How up? How are you? How's it going? <laughs> Wait. Hey, hey. Let me, let me worry. Man. How's it going, man? How's everything? I got my crowns, my flower crown. <laughs> Where? He, he's better get a, a flower star, not another kind of thing. So. Yeah, it's my, good. My, it's my house. Good, man. How are you? Good, good. Not too bad. Well, uh, now is that time. Um, you know, my baby take me a lot of, a lot of my energy, and you know, what's the matter, man? How's it going, man? We're just uh, we're very excited. We got the Indiegogo campaign out today, so we have released uh, a bunch yeah. of content of the film, and we're raising funds. And I just want to take one moment to ask you one question. All right. Uh, oh my us. god. <laughs> there's one, there's one. There's no, no, not, nothing too crazy. I just wanted to, uh, yeah, I just like casually kind of ask you uh, about what your experience was like on the film figure. I'm enjoying a lot, man. It was a very, you say, it was a huge, a huge challenge for me um, and for you guys for sure. But in the end of the day, we made it. We 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 have something very interesting. I saw the. The, the teaser I saw, the, the trailer, I saw everything. And I'm very, I'm very excited to see the final pro, 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 pro. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what went into some of the stunts that we did and uh, your, your role in getting those uh, just performed uh, with as much, I guess, epicness as they could on screen. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, um, the most important, you know, for me is get everything done in the safety way. Um, no injuries, no people, you know, go to the hospital. And, but um, that was for me the, the best part when, we, when, we, when you guys finish very late at the, and the other day, we start now, we, we, no, we, we, you guys start a day and we finish day. And, you know, it was a really uh, crazy marathon of the shooting day, but uh, I'm very impressed of the energy of you. Um, the team was very young, very, very young team, but very mature and very professional. 
and for the stunt part, you know, you you were there, you see, you saw all this kind of, you know, um, Jamie wants and you as well want the best and the best quality for the longer shots, for the longer uh, fight scenes and. I, I told you, I, I can't wait to see the final pro, the, the, the final pro. Um, miss you too, AJ. AJ, miss you too, buddy. Thank you to watch this. Hi, Mayra. How's it going? Como estas? Yeah, I got friends here watching the, the streaming live, the, the yeah. interview, and I'm very happy to see everyone there. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Well, Junior, I wanted to, I guess, just go out of my way to say thank you uh, for your work. Thank you for your time. And uh, I think it, it goes without saying that, you know, this was a, a stepping stone, I think, to work uh, more together and, and have a good relationship for collaboration uh, in the future. So I look forward to working with you again. I look forward to those late night therapy sessions and uh, just getting through, just get, getting through a 20 hour it is, day. It is what it is, buddy. You want to get the, the goal, you have to fight and, you know, key yourself to try to get it. And, this is the way, you know, oh, Mandalorian is coming. So <laughs> this, is, this is the only way, man. So, um, yeah, uh, was a, that was a long fight. Like, I, I'm enjoying a lot to see you guys put all the intention, all the energy. And, yeah, uh, the hard times. I, I'm enjoying a lot the the Hollywood the um, oh my English I'm I'm in the limbo right now between Spanish and English um, the fight in the in the hallway in the yeah, yeah. In the hall yeah. um I, I, that was a very interesting fight um, I remember you and and Paul break your head like okay I want this shot okay let's do this shot okay move this move this um, this wall. I say, you guys gonna move this wall? Yeah, we want the, the entire of the shot. Okay, move the wall. Um, yeah, um, I'm very, very happy to be part of this, of this trip. Um, thank you, man. I appreciate a lot too. I appreciate your, your truth, your confidence about my, my, my poor experience. My, um, you listen very well, the ideas you listen, you, you, I can feel you like, the energy that I can put right there, but I always use, you know, between the excited situation and the safety is a really thin, a thin line. Yeah. If you cross that line, that's it. Something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, because we were professional and everybody was focused on what, what was the best, we got it, right? Safely. Yeah, safely and I told you, I want to see that. I'm very, I'm very excited. You I'm got excited. it. I'm excited yeah, too. Man. Well, you have a wonderful night. All the best to you and your family and uh, get some sleep. All right. Don't, don't. Thank you for this interview, for this opportunity and see you soon, buddy. Rock on. I'll see have you a on good one. Soon. Bye bye. Peace. See you guys. Bye, Junior. Bye. Junior goes without saying he was the stunt coordinator on this. It's a non union project. I mean, you were really. Um, we were stretched to the max on this for resources and, and getting people and getting like the best people possible for uh, sort of the scale we were at. Um, and I uh, just want to shout out you know, for just being a constant professional every day, every day out and just making sure like, you know, those were long, tough days. Um, and we were asking a lot of our crew um, and he never faltered. He was always uh, there making sure everybody was safe. Um, and that, I mean, obviously we want to create a big, action film that's badass with people kicking each other's fucking asses and it's crazy but we also just need to make sure that everybody's kept safe um so yeah now Valo, i'm gonna give it another go <clears throat> maybe it'll work i have a feeling it might but it might not Still, still 
Awesome. Hey. <laughs> Fun. Hey, you're here. You're here. <laughs> yeah, that's you're why right. I leave the technical stuff to you guys. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm more I'm more old school, so um, finally got it on my uh, on my iPhone. Old school, cool me. Old school, cool me, man. How are you? <laughs> Good, good. You know, I'm I'm excited. I could feel it inside. You know that um, you guys are coming to the end, and I would love to see the final project. I mean, I've been listening and watching, and a lot of people are talking about this uh, fight scenes, and you know the excitement around uh, the production and shooting it and all that, right? And I was just thinking that. Um, something nobody mentioned is that you guys had a darn good story. I mean, you can have all the special effects and all the fighting, but if you don't have a story to stitch it together, you walk away, the audience walk away empty. And um, over the last couple of years, I've been to a lot of uh, festival, uh, short film festival, uh, um, BIPOC short film festival, but I never seen an action film. So what you guys are doing, I, I am um, grateful to be a part of that because it's it's an action film. And I got to punch Jamie, but <laughs> my part was, was, was the talking part, was uh, telling the story. And I love the, um, when we discussed it before filming, the twist and turn of this short film. And in short film, you don't have a, a lot of time to develop these things. And um, somehow you guys just figured out in a short period of time to tell a really good story and to make it exciting and make it pop. And I gotta. Yeah, yeah. I just I just want to say thank you for letting me play one of the bad guys and get into a character, have meat, <laughs> you know, on the bone, you know. Why well, I, I I gotta like just I mean Jamie, he, he's unfortunately busy tonight, um, and he deserves a night off. His man works his butt off. I gotta give him so much of that credit, Balo, uh, for crafting the story and creating it from the onset, and then where we brought it together, uh, the collaboration. I'm, I'm just very grateful uh, that he, you know, invited me into this uh, project, and then I've gotten the opportunity to uh, help shape the story and help shape the characters and help shape what we see on screen. And um, the main question I want to ask for you um, is, is is about your character, but also um, about, I guess, your experience. Uh, inhabiting this story and inhabiting that character and what that experience was like for you? Well, I, w when I, when I first got it and I read it, um, you know, I was just thinking about bad guys in movies, you know, um, before they were like James Cagney, you know, I'm just going to shoot you in the face or whatever, you know, like straight on. And then when Die Hard came on, they donned the three-piece suit and they were extra cool and stuff like that. And I was going, how am I going to do this differently? And the way it was written, I did a film before, a Shakespeare film, King Lear, and mm -hmm. I play uh, uh, Gloucester. And the way it was written, and, and like I said, when Jamie said, you know, uh, interpret it the way you wanted to. I didn't want to do that. I I love the way he wrote. I love the words he put together and how they go. And and I I remember on set a couple of times I missed a few things that were changed and and you brought it in there because they fit, you know. And I don't want to take it out because something will be missing. So I uh, I'm talking to him and him giving me w when I first auditioned. I just came on full force. Uh, doing like a little uh, Clint Eastwood uh, uh, raspy voice. And then um, when I spoke to Jamie and he gave me the backstory of the character, that really rounded it out for me. So when I was called on set and you guys said action, it, it wasn't too difficult because I understood in my head and I just let it come out, you know? 
and it, you know and and i and again jamie and you were very like bookend for me you know you were on the other side telling me and i was acting it with him and he was telling me things too so i felt very comfortable in the middle that if i lean this way there's somebody there if i fall forward there's somebody there so, you know the only other thing is i did not well i did my scene and went home so all the action stuff i i don't know what happened so i i saw bits and pieces and it's exciting so i want to see the whole thing eventually well, i i can't wait to for you to see it um as soon as it's done you know you'll have it uh, in your pocket yeah. waiting for you or in your inbox um yeah man i mean it was uh, it, it was awesome working with you on spandrel uh, before this uh the feature uh that i did a uh, before this with my friend Dawson. yes yeah, spandrel uh, uh, yeah and and having you out on figures was just uh, an absolute treat uh, to see you uh, sort of don don that that wardrobe and uh, kill it oh shit well. i love the vest man i wish i did. <laughs> I, i kept it <laughs> You know, I, I yeah, took a picture I, of it and I go, wow, this, you know, I, uh, I mean, I, in, in the edit sessions uh, that I have with Angelica, um, it's funny because obviously all the characters in the film have, uh, you know, their, their own unique uh, lines and things that they say and, and, and that, you know, scenes that are memorable. Um, and your scene is, 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 is one very big scene. Um, but i feel like there's a lot uh, from the way that you perform the dialogue uh where people i think are going to come away from it being like some ca little catchphrases or some little quotes <laughs> uh, like the one i like the most is no worries or like no worries <laughs> but yeah, man, yeah you you see that's the thing is is the way it was written uh, i thought it was just perfect for the character and you know it it just fits so i just want to i would love to see it on screen i don't like to watch myself on screen but i'm getting used to it you know i mean it 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 helps you uh become better as you go on you know so i think in, i think in the context of everything else it'll be pretty wrapped into the film so it'll just sort of happen naturally you'll be you'll be ready for your entrance when it happens all right um, But yeah, we'll we'll send that very soon, and uh, thank thank you very much, Paolo. Well, it time. was it was fantastic working with you guys, and I can't wait to see the film. And in the future, if you need me for anything, hey, I'm here. You know, all right. We'll, de we'll definitely let you know. <laughs> okay, for those about to figure it out, I salute you. <laughs> Salute you, Bao. When you did <laughs> when you did that at the beginning, I go, "There's an ACDC man for those about to rock." <laughs> We salute you. <laughs> exactly. Well, Bao, have a wonderful night. All right. Yeah, you too. Take care, bud. Bye bye. Good, good vibes. Good vibes. Bao is the bomb. No doubt about it. Well, we're just about wrapping it up now. I uh, shouldn't take too much longer, but we may have. Andrea Espinosa, checking in. Or Hannah Oliveros, checking in. Or Kira Smith. Or Adam Daniel Meze. Meze? I don't know. Stand by. This will be good early. Well, might as well play the game. So, if people want to go and support the Indiegogo campaign, Um, all you gotta do is go to Instagram, click on this dude, go to Jay Durek Films. You don't even have to do this. You can also just go straight to IndieGoGo.com. So I'll show you that one too. But yeah, you find ourselves at the Happy Page, an epically ambitious short film. As one fight ends, a new one begins. Help us punch the teeth for this next part of the process. Zero funds raised so far. Very good, very good. We're doing very well. <laughs> the journey. Our next fight. Breakdown. Oh, let's go over the breakdown. So in the breakdown, you got your artist piece, uh, which is covering all of the people, that, like myself and Jamie, at the Recoup Fund. Um, BCP deliverables uh, for getting into film festivals and creating um, the right sort of delivery, uh, physical drive. Uh, for that. Publicity, marketing, that's where this is. It's only 15% of this budget, which is 
measure really small part of the budget to allocate towards uh, film uh, marketing budget. Uh, part, uh, partially, that number is so small because myself and Jamie are, are pretty good at marketing, so we spend uh, you know our own time doing that. So we don't need to charge too much. But uh, this, this allocation would go towards like boosting posts um, and any other sort of uh, fees associated with uh, social media or marketing. Otherwise, uh, that's the biggest way to get the film out there. Film festival, most important. Uh, is getting uh, into as many film festivals as possible, as many good ones as possible. Over here, we've done a composer, uh, VFX, audio design, colors, and offline edit. So, I mean, really, this is the bulk of the technicians. Uh, but it, it's going to be passed through. Uh, so on my own. Got Enzo Zapalco, Drake Conrad, Thomas O'Neill, Greg Holmes, potentially. Uh, and then our composer uh, is some people that uh, Thomas is actually working with as well. So it is included. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to Roland Pictures uh, and Wanted Post. Uh, they're the company that I used to work for that uh, are just sort of offering up their, uh, their services and their people and their staff to continuously help us get this project made. So shout out to them. Uh, the whole staff included. So the idea here. Scroll down to Jamie. The one and only group of houses acquired. That's okay. Then Jim Bridge. That's me. Chilly. Paul Perfect. DP. David Slim. Tara Oliveris. Killing. Andrew Espinosa. She was here for a moment. And then she left. That's okay. Go to Andrew Black. Let me up for the tail. Got Angelica Falco. Shout out. And James White. So, yeah, I mean, we're just, uh, I don't know if anybody else is uh, interested in joining this evening, but that's totally cool. Um, just wanted to say, uh, you know, super grateful for everybody that did uh, show up just to shout out the film and uh, be supportive. Uh, it's uh, just a small indie Canadian action film uh, with big. Uh, Big dreams of doing some cool stuff. So it's very excited to have made a film uh, with Jamie um, and very excited to get it out there. And we're going to spend the next little bit finishing it uh, so we can release it to you as soon as possible. Um, so we just released this Indiegogo campaign um, and it's super fucking sweet. And we got Hannah in the house. Yeah, so Hannah. Um, I was about to uh, say goodbye. Um, but I caught you, Tommy. I caught you. So we'll say a quick hello and then I'll say goodbye. Yo! Brother, you can end it. How are you? It's pretty, it's pretty good. How's the phone connection? Better. How are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm good. Not too much. I was just How, what's up? Was, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, I'm talking about uh, hey, yeah, yeah. what everybody's doing. <laughs> we just talked to Balo, uh, who's in like one of the opening scenes. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of like the only question I've been asking is, uh, "Hello, how are you? Uh, what did what did uh, <laughs> what did you do uh, on the film? And can you tell us what you did on the film?" Uh, okay. I played, uh, Kira and, uh, she, her description was she's like as badass chick. <laughs> and then, and I was, um, and who's, who's a fighter. And, um, so I did, uh, a long fight scene or, well, I guess it's not as, not that long, but it's uh, a decently long. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I guess like what what we what I did was do all the like the rehearsals and um uh. <laughs> And then, and then the shoot. It was just, that, was, that was it. It was just like the rehearsal and then the shoot. And um, oh, and the the previs actually. Um, but yeah, I mean, the whole process was I would say it was enjoyable. And um, I I guess my most favorite ones would probably be doing the actual shoot. 
and then um you know you, you wear the costume and your the makeup and then you know nice. it's time well, to go <laughs> and uh, just let you know like i'm super thankful and grateful of your time and, 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 your, and your work that you put in this movie and like i can't wait for people to see yeah i know i can't, I can't. Uh, thank well, you. I, I, wait, um, <laughs> I appreciate wait, you too. To, for people to see your, your character Kira in this one because I mean you really are like the main character alongside Curtis uh, that's fighting him and uh, it's 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 a lot like it's it's, it's a lot yeah. that you guys go through uh, and it's pretty intense and epic and it takes up uh, you know a really significant portion of what the story is all about so I just wanted to say like you know shout out to you for coming in and yeah. fucking killing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully, uh, I, I I translated the character well enough because <laughs> um, you know she her personality seemed very like opposite of my actual personality, so it was it was a little bit difficult to get into character, but and especially because um acting is not really my forte, but um, I gave it a shot and I I did enjoy it. <laughs> Um, trying to play a different character. <laughs> I, yeah, I really and like you helped a lot too. As an actor and as a stunt performer, uh, it was like it was a good balance, and I felt like I got to wear I got to wear two different kinds of hats too, right? Like I, I like, <laughs> you know, one was action, one was drama. One was like what you're actually moving your body versus you're just saying words. Like what do the words sound like? You know what I mean? <laughs> Stuff like that. So, uh, it, yeah. well, I, I appreciate your. Yeah, I enjoyed working with you too. And being like okay with my craziness i know it could be kind of just a little <laughs> high energy. no i no i like it because it you know it, it brings the mood up and stuff <laughs> when like you know when uh time's running out and like things are getting crunched and you know we're trying to figure things out like it's to keep the mood like uh oh it's pretty good i got i basically got like how's the connection crazy and like time's like kind of running out uh, I can s still remain positive, which I'm usually negative inside my mind, but I'm just trying to. <laughs> yeah, I tried to. I tried to. I tried well, to well you hide it pretty well. Down, <laughs> nobody will ever know. <laughs> I, I know. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. So, I mean, we'll, uh, we'll, check, we'll, we'll all get back uh, together, have a reunion uh, again soon in real life. So that would be nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, um, I saw the little uh, video teasers that you posted recently, and it, it was looking pretty good. Like the, well, yeah, I, I like the way you guys like edited it together too. Blown away. I'll just say that right now. Like, it's uh, like just even adding color and sound effects. That's where we're at right now. Like, the like adding things to it, and it's like, uh, it, it it's just really epic. Like you and and Jamie moved through uh, the world with such like a I don't know like a really dynamic and like just like i don't know just the action itself that you guys uh, were able to choreograph together um was just uh i don't know it was, it was really cool and i that's good uh yeah ho hopefully yeah. we performed it decent enough yeah, I <laughs> but i don't i don't really know until i see it <laughs> and then i'm gonna see i'm gonna point out i'm gonna point out all these things that i did wrong um, and i'm like yeah. shit <laughs> Yeah, but like, but to the untrained eye, then it's I guess it's not so bad. But um, yeah, to the people who understand what I'm talking about, <laughs> yeah, I think it's we're, we're our worst, have, uh, worst open critics. Collaboration and feedback during the, the cutting process too. So uh, we'll we'll hopefully send you something sooner than later so you can see some stuff. Yeah, yeah so just I'll keep up. Yeah, Yay! I'll keep and Bala, I want to see you. <laughs> I'm like I'm like. Nerves, I'm like half nervous, half excited. <laughs> well, it's, yeah. well it's, uh, it's <laughs> humor. thank you for uh, <laughs> you know being uh, being you and just doing your thing, and uh, excited to hear more about your next things that come up. And uh, if you ever uh, you know need us, we got your back. We got your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, I had, I was basically working on other. I was starring in a, two other projects at the same time as uh, figures, and it was it was it was a little difficult keeping up with everything because there was so much choreography going on, and um, I had to remember all of it at the same time. And 
uh, it, but I was up for the challenge, so I never like, I never really wanted to complain about it. Uh, but it, it, it was a challenge. <laughs> Yeah, so then um, hopefully they all come out uh, around the same time. Well, one of them's out already. Uh, it's called Beast Mode um, by Zach Wojcik, my friend. <laughs> so um, that one's out. And then um, I'm waiting for another one that I just posted the trailer for on my profile for one in the chamber. And then now, and then figures will co be coming out after, yeah, I would say like, like the, hopefully soon. Uh, Do you know when it'll like, come out? Uh, probably three, three or three, three months, maybe a little bit more than three months. Like we're kind of like we're mo we're moving right into uh, like okay. the kind of in the next few weeks, and then um, using some of the funds that we get from this Indiegogo uh, to put into color and sound design. Um, and then once we finish those aspects, we're going to go over it all with like VFX. But before we get to those points, too, we want to have a little bit of a feedback uh, sort of. Uh, you know, interaction with people and, and see what things uh, people would like to maybe see changed in the film before we lock it. Um, so it's it's kind of like you, you want to release it as soon as possible. You mm -hmm. want to pump it out and get it out there. Uh, but there's sort of like, in this time of like getting the post-production right, it at least really gives us the time to set up a potential festival uh, release and getting it into some really cool places. So I'm hoping, yeah. you know, if everything goes right, um, with each step of the process. It's going to look really good. It's going to sound really good. And it's going to be really good. So, yeah, that's all I want. That's all I want. Good. <laughs> it might, yeah, it I'm, might take I'm three months. It might it, take yeah. four months. <laughs> months. It might take five. I mean, take, take uh, yeah, yeah. as much time I, as you I'm need to make it the best it could be. Well, <laughs> Yeah, but, but not too long that, like, people forget about it. Engaged, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, we're going to fucking release this at the moment it's done. Like, let's fucking go. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I, as long as, like, you don't lose the momentum of it. I love a feature film that I produced and shot. I shot the whole thing. It's a feature film called Wildfire Feature Film. I love it to death. It's an indie drama thriller. And uh, it's in post-production. in post-production for two years. And we're still keeping the fire. Trying to... <laughs> okay, well, like, oh, oh, try not to take two years, but <laughs> I think I mean, uh, with, with, within the year would be nice the next few weeks, <laughs> to get some footage. So, so you, you, at least the lock, you know what I mean? The lock, and okay, the, cool. and move on to the next phases. So, like, the lock is like finishing it technically. So, I'm excited to. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'll, take I'll your like take your time, but not too much time. <laughs> Well, Hannah, I just want to say thank you, man. This is awesome. And, uh, you know, all the best in your career and killing it and just keep killing it. And, uh, yeah, just, yeah. It's, thank you. you. It's, it's a pleasure to have you on I this, appreciate uh, you. this live stream. <laughs> uh, it was my pleasure. It was nice. Hannah Oliveros in the crib doing up a show with you. Well, I think that just about here does it. Unless, well, there was Kira. Let me see if there's anybody else who's messaged me that wants to be in the live. No, that's pretty well. Okay, well, I'll just say one, uh, one more time. So what you can do uh, is you can actually go to Indiegogo.com. Indiegogo.com. And just go here. So, here you go, go. Where are you? Just going to click explore. Come on, search. And is it here? No, it's not. It's okay. I'm going to do this. Is it here? Oh, there it is. And yeah, 
click on it, back it, check out the highlights. If you have any questions, check out some questions and answers set up here for you. All the perks. Some great perks this time. Um, so just to go through them really quick. You've got a digital download for 10 bucks. As soon as it's almost done, you'll have a digital download, a copy of your own to keep in your own house or wherever you keep your digital download. A shout out for twenty dollars. So it's going to be a shout out. So if you want people, if you want us to, uh, you know, let everybody know that you're uh, an absolute beast, beauty, not a beast. Not even if you are a beast, just a shout out. Then got signed set still. Oh, got some signatures in there. Uh, that, that was for fifty dollars. So a little bit higher up on the price range. Um, but you know, it takes a lot of time to sign still. Uh, and these signatures are really, really, really Hollywood signatures one day. You might be able to sell them for a lot of money. Probably not. Really, it's just if you want to support this campaign um, and help us out. It's a combination of uh, a signed set, a signed set still. Say that three times fast. Signed set still. Signed set still. Signed set still. Um, as well as the social media shout out and digital download. 50 bucks gets you all three. And you can put a border on it. There's lots of other cool set stills too to go from. So this is the only one that will be options for that one. Poster. You can put it up in your room, your bathroom, your kitchen, laundry room, wherever you put posters in your house. Higher bucks. Oh, Blu ray. You get a Blu ray copy playing a Blu ray player. That's going to be awesome. I'm excited to make Blu rays for this. I'm going to show them with all my friends. I'm going to give them $200. Mask and weapon. Well, it goes without saying you get a mask and weapon. You can go and be like one of the characters and figures and have fights with local gangs and have run ins with different organization leaders. Pretty sweet. Executive producer and associate, associate producer. And principal player. I think I forgot. Them. But yeah, that's what it is. But if you want to be an executive producer, have a couple hundred. Oh, yeah. Just to uh, finish off, uh, this is a great uh, live stream uh, event tonight, just celebrating this film that we've all made together. Very excited uh, to get things really going in post production and just kill it, just kill it through this process and make an unreal film for y'all. Um, yeah, thanks everybody.